Stripe payment tutorial. How to use Stripe for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Stripe, which can be a great alternative to bank accounts, debit cards, and PayPal. Instead, Stripe provides with a safe online way for people to pay you and for you to be able to accept payments. Now, Stripe is integratable with almost any website, and you guys will see that it has major partners like Amazon, Shopify, Salesforce, Google, Zara, WhatsApp, Beam, Doppler, and Marriott. So you guys can see that it is not something that you can take lightly. They have a lot of backing, and the reason for that is their efficiency and easy and simple payment methods. So let's get into how you can actually use Stripe. So to get started with Stripe, simply head on over to stripe.com. Now, if you take a look at their pricing, obviously you are accepting payments. They have a simple charge. They have 2.9% per successful charge for domestic cards plus 30%. So that is going to be your transactional fee whenever you are going to be receiving payments via Stripe. Now, from here, you're just going to go into Stripe and click on sign up. And once you go into your sign up page, all you have to do is sign up with your email address and your full name. Once you do that, this is going to be your dashboard on Stripe. So this is currently our dashboard on Stripe and you can activate your accounts by providing your bank account information. If you don't want to do that, you can proceed with some test data if you're uncertain about, you know, setting up your business just yet. Now in your homepage, you will see you have a get started with Stripe section and then you will have a basic overview of payments, gross volume, net volume and sales, new customers and top customers by spending. Then on your left panel, you also have payments. Now in your payments, you have different types of payments that you can take. So you can share a link to a checkout page, manually charge customers, use a pre-built payment form, invoice a customer, as well as build custom payment UIs and charge customers in person. Now this is for your POS, so point of sale services, and this is usually what people use for their basic checkouts. Then on the left, you also have balances where you can see what your current Stripe balance is, and then any upcoming amounts that are going to be processed for to your account. And then you also have on your way back, so any refunds would be deducted. Then you also have your customers. In your customer section, you can add them manually from here or export them as well. Then you have your billing section. Now, in your billing, you can send invoices to suppliers. You can send invoices to any uh, relevant demographics which would require invoicing. So you guys can see that it's very simple. You can even set up recurring invoices on your billing section. Now, in terms of accepting payments, you have a few different types. Subscriptions, invoices, codes, and payment links and terminal readers. Then you have online um, platforms, so collect payments and payout sellers. Then you have your product management where you can enter your product and listings. Then you also have analytics and then you have your financial processes like your taxes, revenue recognition and more. Now let's go into one of the basic sections of product catalog because if we are selling products, we want to be able to add them first. So I would just add any product. Let's say it's going to be a handbag. And then you can add whatever description you want and then upload a relevant image. So I'm just going to upload any image I can find. And then once I've uploaded my product image, I have my amount, so the price of the item. And then you can choose what type of payment method would this fall. If it would be a recurring payment, which would be a subscription. And you can make daily subscriptions, weekly subscriptions, monthly as well or a one-off purchase. Now this is going to be a one-off purchase and you even have more pricing options such as flat rate, package pricing, customer chooses price. Then you also have advanced options such as price description and a look up keys. Now I'm just going to click on next and add my product. Now once we have added a sample product, we can go into billing over here and get started with setting up Shopify payments. Now, you guys can see in Shopify payments, I want to build something that's pretty basic and simple. So I want to share a link to a checkout page. Now, the setup for this is incredibly simple. You just go on ahead and click on share a link to checkout page. 
and then you can choose whichever product you want so let's say it's for our handbag then after that we have our options so collect customers addresses billing addresses billing and shipping addresses and this is going to be from united states and canada i can edit the countries as well to the countries that i ship to so let's say i ship to mexico only and i can save that over here then we can require customers to provide a phone number we can also include a free trial if you have subscription based items or services then you also have limit the number of payments so one total payment or you can just you know continue on over here once you do that you also have advanced options where you can enter custom fields within your checkout allow promo codes so let's say i want to allow promo codes and once we've done that what we're going to do this is going to show me the preview of my payment page and then after that we have the after payment show confirmation page and i can replace this with my own customized text but i'm going to leave it as the default one and then i can just click on create link on the top right now once you create your link you will see this is just a simple link you can even build a qr code which would lead to this particular page then you can even copy a buy button and now all you have to do is you can head on over to wix you can head on over to squarespace let's say i go on to wix.com and i can just copy this buy button and then insert that into wix instead of having to subscribe to a premium plan on wix and having to then be able to accept payments on wix i can directly do this and i will just go on to wix and then open up my website and then we are just going to click on edit site over here and i can choose whichever option i want i can copy the link add a qr code or add a buy button adding a buy button is usually the easiest way now within that you even have two options so your buy button option can be in the form of a card or a button now i want this to be in the form of a card and you can build a segregated wix page for this so this is our website and then i'm just going to click on add over here and then we're just going to do that and we can choose what type of section we want to add so you can just go into html embed and then we are just going to add this section and you can place it in a new page usually i like to do that and then you have the section so i'm just going to remove all this info and i'm just going to paste my html so we are going to paste our html code over here and then we can choose the width and then the height as well so i'm going to increase the height a little like this and then the width is going to be reduced i'll just keep that both at a max and then once i've done that i can remove all the you know jibber jabber in this section so all of this stuff is unnecessary i don't really require it i can remove that from here and then once i've done that i can just click on publish and now customers can directly go from my wix website onto my stripe checkout with my product so it's really that easy to use stripe payments and you know sell your product and enable yourself to receive payments in a safe and effective manner so you guys can see i click on subscribe over here and this opens up my checkout page with stripe so it's really that easy i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with stripe payments now it's better if you use code to integrate this into your website but if not you can always use this alternative method so make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel